Make sure you subscribe to this amazing quality content. Please like this video in advance before you even watch it, like right now, like this video. And then I want you to leave like five random comments. You know, tell me how your day is going. What do you have planned for tomorrow? Okay guys, so do you like cheating stories? Well, I do. And that's what we're gonna do today. I want a relationship with my daughter. Ooh, okay. She was, okay. I want a relationship with my daughter. She was a product of an affair. Okay. I had an affair with a coworker. It ended when my wife found out. Fast forward 18 months later, my ex coworker moved to a new state, is still married, and she has a nine month old little girl that looks just like my son did as a baby. I tried contacting her a few times, but she won't respond and has blocked me. I'm separated from my wife, pending a divorce. Mm. My preteen son won't talk to me. I don't blame him. I feel like I lost everything. I want to seek courts to get a paternity test done and get rights. I mean, why though? That's... So, okay, so... If her husband doesn't already know, if this guy tries to get a paternity test, then he's definitely gonna find out. But my ex coworker is married to a man with a lot of money and is her legal father. Is this worth pursuing? No, no, leave it alone. Leave it alone, it's not your business. You shouldn't have been sleeping with a married woman. This is what happens, duh. Like, what did you expect? I think you can get a, another man's wife pregnant and then expect to have rights to the baby. No, it doesn't work that way. If you just found out that your husband has been cheating on you, what would you do? I've been married with my husband for 30 years now. That's a long ass time. And we have four girls together and four granddaughters and three great granddaughters. Damn, that's all girls. My husband left for work one morning and he left his computer on. As I was cleaning his mess, I noticed this email saying, thank you, I had a wonderful time with you yesterday and I can't wait tonight. And I can't wait tonight when we roll around in bed sucking each other off. That's nasty. I need to know if you are a topper or a bottom. This man is gay. This man has been married for 30 years and is gay. I can do both as it excites me either way. That's nasty. I read hundreds of his emails with more men than women. I am so afraid to bring this up to my husband because every time I think he's cheating, we end up fighting. Of course. Of course, there's a fight. Not unless he left his computer on for a reason. Should I say anything or stay quiet? I would say something. This is what I would do. I would I would print everything out. I would have all the emails printed out. I would take screenshots of, of everything and I would save it on an external hard drive, something he doesn't have access to, like a, a, thumb, a thumb drive or something, and have the printing copies. And, and then I would, I would just sit there and find out a solution like what what do I want to come out of this after I confront him do do I want him to leave do I want him to move out of the home do I want to move out of the home like, do I do we want to sell the home like think short term and long term I would just come up with okay what do I want to do and then confront him because then you have a plan because if you don't if you don't have a plan and you confront him then it's like really really messy want to kiss and hug my friend's wife and also worship her how to control okay that's weird i am a 28 year old unmarried man had a lot of casual hookups in my life i have a 30 years old friend who has a 35 years old beautiful wife from the day i saw her i have the keen urge to worship her i have jerked off to her many times Yet my thrust is not conquered. He said thrust, but I think he meant thirst. Or maybe he did mean thrust. I want to be inside her so bad. Ew! I know it's not good how to control. Ew. I want to be inside her. So he wants to have a casual hookup with her, basically. I tell you what, men, 
men want everything. They want to taste everything. They want to try everything. They want to flirt with everybody. (sighs) Next one. Am married and in love with another man. What should I do? Why? Like why? I've been seeing another man for about a year and have been sexually active as well. I'm assuming she's talking about this guy. She's been sleeping with this guy. He doesn't know I'm married. Okay, yeah. So that pretty much confirms it. Yeah, she's she's been having sex with this guy. He thinks I'm single and we're both falling in love with each other. I have three kids and been married for three years, but been in, in my relationship for eight years. Any advice, please? How do people have time to have these full-blown side relationships where is the time you got three kids bitch you got three kids like how do you have how do you have that much time on your hands like i guess they make these side relationships their priority because i don't understand how a mom of three could have time for an extra relationship how can I subtly suggest that I would be interested in having an affair with the woman I work with? Oh my God. She's quitting at the end of the month and I'm afraid if I don't act soon, I'll lose my opportunity. Really? Over the past year, we've really connected emotionally. Really? And shared intimate details with one another like our dissatisfaction with marriage and life in general. I don't want... I don't want okay hold up I don't want come right out and say it but should I or is there a better way that would reduce the pressure on her that's maybe less direct but still get my point across please spare me the morality folks I'm just wondering how to do it not if I should thanks so this guy is like okay I'm married And I don't give a shit. I don't give a fuck about my marriage. And I'm just, it's all about me. And I'm just going to do me. Disgusting. Disgusting. Ooh, this is a good one. I love spending money on cam girls, but my wife don't know. I love to go on sites like Chatterbait or webcamfreegirls.com and spend some my hard-earned cash to tell these cam girls what to do for me. I mean, I love that myself but I am a married guy and my wife don't know about this and if she did she kill me because she's very religious apart from that the sex with my wife is just dot 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 bad and I feel better sometimes going on the site than having sex with her is this considered cheating it's not like I'm having an intercourse right yeah it's considered cheating Cheating is, okay, here's how you know if it's cheating. If you feel like you need to hide it, you're cheating. If this is something that you don't want your wife to find out about, it's cheating. That's why you're hiding it, because you know it's wrong. If you know it's wrong, it's cheating. If you feel like it's wrong, it's cheating. If you're hiding it, it's cheating. If, If it's something that you wouldn't want your spouse to do behind your back, is cheating okay like just it's just like cheating on a test like they don't care how you got the answers they don't care if you wrote the answers in your hand they don't care if you got the answers from your calculator they don't care if you got the answers from um the dms you know instagram they don't care if you got the answers from facebook messenger they don't care if you got the answers on chatterbait like cheating is cheating it doesn't matter how you got the answers for the test if you looked on someone else's paper, it's still cheating, right? Yeah, okay, there's there's your answer. Yes, it's cheating. Please don't bash me on this. I feel low enough without criticism. I've been married over 14 years and the marriage was great for 13 and a half of those years. Last October, I caught my wife having, having an affair Ooh, with a friend of ours. Oh my gosh. She told me it was over with him, but I've been unable to recover from the hurt and the distrust I have for her now. 
Things got really bad between us, so I moved out, leaving her in the marital home with our two daughters. We still talk several times a day, but things are not the same, and I suspect the marriage is over. I love her more than life and miss her twice as much as that. She is everything I ever wanted, and I just can't see moving on in life without her. Yet, that is what is going to happen. I think about her 50 times a day. Um, she is everything I ever wanted, and I just can't see moving on in life without her. Dot, dot, dot. Yet, this is what is going to happen. I think about her 50 times a day. Everything reminds me of her and our time together. Aw. They say the best way to get over an old love is to find a new love. I've been with two girls recently, but I just can't feel anything for them. Dot, dot, dot. Because they are not my wife. I don't understand my feelings because honestly, my wife threw our relationship, our love, our family, and me under the bus. Dot, dot, dot. I feel like I should hate her for what she's done, but I just can't. How can I finally put this behind me and move on? See, he's just going to have to give him more time. It hasn't been long enough. It's too soon. His wound is still open. He just needs to give it more time to get a little crusty, to dry out, you know, and scab over. He just needs more time. And he needs to stop talking to her on the phone. All right, so that's it. Comment below and let me know what you think. This is real life shit, people. And these are the type of things that you should consider before you have a baby. Before you get engaged. Before you save all that money. Before you put that $20,000 down payment on that house. On that marital home. Better think about this. this. These are the things you need to consider before you do all You know, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. And um, I'm sure you already like this video because I told you to do that in the beginning of the video. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.